Hi everyone, prepare to be impressed. Here in the greater Glasgow area, I have five happy places. Places which make me happy. I never get tired of visiting these places. I'm going to share them with you. Hopefully you'll appreciate why they are my happy places and they might make you happy as well. Happy place number one is in Paisley, and that's my hometown. It's seven miles or about 10 kilometers west of Glasgow. Now behind me we have Paisley Abbey. That dates from 1163, and the Abbey has something truly spectacular. The Abbey is closed at the moment due to COVID-19 restrictions, but inside you would find beautiful stained windows, a floor made of old gravestones, and a cross which dates from 900 to 1000 AD. There's even a beautiful cloister. But that is not my happy place. My happy place, is on the roof. There are gargoyles all around the roof and these were replaced in the 1990s as the original gargoyles were looking a little worse for wear. Here's one of the originals they kept as an indicator as to how bad they were. There are some really interesting gargoyles, but there's one in particular I love. That's the monster from the 1979 movie Alien. Now the stonemason must have had a great sense of humour, or he had a soft spot for Sigourney Weaver. I can relate to that. Yeah. Anyway, happy place number two. It's located around one and a half miles north of Paisley. Let's go there now. Glasgow Airport. This building has been my gateway to the world. Now I've been very, very fortunate to have traveled extensively over the last 25 years and every adventure has started here. Whenever I get itchy feet and I think of traveling again after COVID, this is my happy place. Okay, and on to happy place number three in the city centre, which means we have to catch the airport bus. This is a place I absolutely love and I never get tired of looking at it. This is Glasgow Central Station, opened in 1879. It's Scotland's busiest station and the 12th busiest in the UK. The people of Glasgow love this station. In 2016, it received a customer satisfaction score of 95.2%, the highest in the UK. But my happy place isn't outside the station, it's inside. Despite being a commuter, passing through this place five times per week in the morning and five times per week in the evening, I never tire of seeing this amazing station. 
prior to COVID-19, you could actually do a guided tour of the, uh, of the station. You put on a high-vis jacket, you put on a little white hard hat, and you go down into the bowels of the station. You could also go up onto the canopy as well. Naturally, I was one of the first people to sign up for that tour. Okay, we're off to the west end of Glasgow for happy place number four. Prepare to be impressed. This is Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum. Like all art galleries and museums run by Glasgow City Council, they're all completely free to enter. Now due to COVID-19 restrictions, you need a special ticket, and I've got mine. This was opened in 1901, and it's a great place to spend a few hours. I'll show you quickly around the museum, and then I'll show you my very happy place. Okay, are you ready for my happy place? That was Christ of St. John of the Cross, painted in 1951 by Salvador Dali, and I think it's a magnificent piece of work. Not a single melted clock, or a spindly leg in sight. Right, we're now off to the east side of Glasgow for happy place number five. This is the People's Palace. It's a museum to social history of Glasgow and it was opened in 1898. I've got a ticket to get inside and we'll have a quick look around, but that is not my happy place. My happy place is what's behind it, the Winter Gardens. So imagine my disappointment when I speak to the guy at the front door and he tells me the winter gardens are closed. And here I am leaving the best till last. Apparently they're closed until further notice for refurbishment. £70 million has been allocated for the work, but at the moment you can't get in. So let's have a look at it from the outside. So how's that for a bit of irony? One of my happy places has made me very unhappy. Anyway, four out of five is not bad. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. I can't believe that place is closed.